Paris 2024 Olympics. <laughs> pack it up. Pack it up. Let me say, pack it up. All of the Jamaican athletes, them, the coaches, the physiotherapists, the doctor, them, everybody. Pack up on a suitcase, on a black, green, and gold clothes and come home. Come on. This is the worst Olympic Games I have ever seen. From all the ones I've watched from Athens to Beijing to London to Rio to Tokyo, Paris, no host, nothing else. Just go up on a break. Please. Right now, the only thing Uno have going for Uno is the purple track. It's pretty and that is it. Nothing else. Me not think Uno prepared for host nothing bigger than a Diamond League. Not even World Cup. Don't think about it. Don't put Uno hat in at the ring for host nothing else because you are not ready. You understand what I'm saying? From when I met the people them swimming at the river where they are on the nose of the river dirty and full of E. coli now half of them sick They might as well look at the swimming part of Jamaica We have a whole heap of river can host the people them You understand me? They swim go all the way out to the sea But I just can't, me not, me can't, me can't comprehend me really going over Paris right now I just feel like, I don't know if it's Guzu or something else But it's worse than what the people them have over St. Thomas I need my Jamaican athletes Wrap it up, please Oh God, fun and joke aside, big up to every Jamaican who has represented us over there, you understand? Especially the ones who have clinched a medal, you understand? So far, you guys are amazing and I just cannot wait for it to be over so we can go back to where I come from and just wash off all of the saltness because not even out of Elsha, not so salt. Jesus Christ. Daniel Thomas Dodd, uh, 31 year old from Westmoreland, Jamaica. Uh, didn't enjoy it. Your face looks like you weren't so pleased with your results. Tell us a bit about what happened out there. Um, I mean, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Um, you know, the qualification is something that is definitely within my reach. However, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been very frustrating um, to every time come to these major champ um, Olympic Games and you know not making the finals and um you know this time around it was definitely something that i felt like was easy for me to do um however i didn't have my coach here i've been in the village for two and a half weeks and i was denied the the privilege of of, of having a, a, a coach's pass for my coach to even be at the the training facilities for two and a half weeks so you're talking about 365 days of training just gone down the drain because i didn't have my coach for two and a half weeks while being here so it is definitely very frustrating um you know and it's 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 i think it's something that i definitely have to sit and reflect on and, and moving forward as to you know what will be definitely best for me and my mental health because i cannot do this anymore it's very frustrating dealing with joa and j3s because these people don't care about phil events in jamaica and if they did they would make sure that we have everything we need to make us comfortable because my coach is not just a part of my 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 my, my training process you know he's a very crucial part of my warm-up and getting ready for preparations and i didn't have him for two and a half weeks two and a half weeks it's very frustrating because this is definitely something that i'm more than capable of obtaining and i came short today yeah i can feel and sense and understand your frustration particularly now that you see jamaica competing so well in the field event exactly and that's the irony of it the gold medal that they were sitting down waiting for did not come from the track it came from the field events and that's and, the, and those are the events that they neglect so much in jamaica and most of the medals that we have gotten so far at these games comes from the field events and we're the most marginalized groups within jamaica track and field and it's very frustrating and it's time for them to stop and really reflect on what they're doing to us as athletes family while other countries are celebrating about the 2024 paris olympics the story in Jamaica is different. Jamaicans are actually disappointed. Jamaicans are not happy. Many a times Jamaicans are known for their good, good um, performance when it comes to 100 meters races, 200 meters races, and um, 4 by 4 races in the Olympics. And um, growing up as a kid in Africa, I have always known Jamaica to be a beast in the, in the Olympics. They have the good athletes and many a times when it comes to short races jamaica is well known but this time jamaicans are so so disappointed and they're, they're they actually feel so so bad with the just concluded olympics um jamaica was only able to garner six medals including one gold three silver and two bronze and these uh th this has come as at a time where jamaicans have been so so sad because they felt that in the uh, 100 meters race um, 
the US of A stole the race in the last minute. They believe that their athletes won that race. We can see the frustration from these people. We can see the frustration from these athletes right here explaining why she feels that they are not doing better, that there is a lot to be improved, you know. And um, this has just brought a mixed emotions. And um, according to my research, Jamaicans are experiencing frustration with the 2024 Olympics due to several disappointing performance in track events, an area where the nation typically excels. Jamaica is well known when it comes to athletics. You know, notably, this is the first time since 1976 that Jamaican women did not win a medal in the 100 meters or 200 meters events. The Jamaican sprinting dominance has been declining with iconic athletes like Shelly Ann Fraser and Sherika Jackson dealing with injuries and unable to replicate past successes. Elaine Thompson Hera, another top sprinter, missed the games due to an Achilles injury. Le uh, and then there is uh, the other side of the men, four times 100 meter relay team, which historically performed well, failed to qualify for the finals for the first time in 20 years, man. It has been a very, very difficult time for Jamaica in the 2024 um Olympics. Errors during baton exchanges were a significant factor in their underperformance. These results have led to a period of reflection and disappointment amongst fans and athletes. Given Jamaica's strong back and field legacy, you know, Jamaica has a big legacy when it comes to athletes. But I just feel like, no, these, uh, these years Olympics have just had this bad of men, you know, you, we saw the Olympics started with blasphemy, you know, they, they just um, were against Christianity. We saw the opening ceremony, what happened in Paris. There's something dark with these Olympics this time. That's why um, many of the strongholds have not done well, you know, looking, look, looking at it on the spiritual side of things. The Olympic has not been business as usual. There's been a lot of issues with these Olympics, including blasphemy, you know, just insulting the institution of Christianity in their opening ceremony. Things have been off. But I want to assure Jamaicans that um, they should not give up. Their time is coming. Hopefully, in the next Olympic, they shall um, just come back and... Um, do what they do best. Different Jamaicans have shown frustrations online in regards to these Olympics. It, it could be an issue of um, not um, good results, injuries, and um, some complaints, whether um, some of the athletes really won the races but were denied. You know, let us hear from some people, even uh, as we do a critical analysis to this video. Let's watch this. Olympics of the key back of Paris again. It come like a curse. Are we just going there for vacation? I'm sick and tired of this now. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. I'm so upset. What do you mean? I don't know Rob, I don't know Rob the man. I know that foot they go over the line. I know wicked, I know dirty. I'm sick Paris. And then this little big mob boy and I go run up and dog now and say, I'm the fastest man alive, I'm the fastest man alive, I'm the fastest man alive. Fastest man alive. <sighs> right now, me upset. Me upset with a heated passion. Right. But me can't be upset at the same time because <laughs> life, you can't choose people like for them, you know. <sighs> but Sharika Jackson come out at the 200 meter. No Shelly and Fraser, no 200 meter. Jesus creator. <laughs> and what happened to this all in Paris curse? Something wrong with Paris. I mean, now nah, take it back, sitting wrong with Paris. Because this don't make no sense. I don't like the top at least them from out of Jamaica just have choose not to show up or choose not to participate. And what kind of message am I send to the J3A? 
Awaka in a message them I send. Jamaica, you know, pay attention to no athletes them. The athletes are very important and crucial to the economy. You know, for respect them. There's a message in these withdrawals. Family, you have seen the frustrations from Jamaicans, but I'd like to tell them that this was just not their ear. Plus, this year's Olympics was just off from the opening ceremony. But now I want to encourage Jamaicans that it's time that the ministry that is concerned with sports in Jamaica to sit down with the athletes, give them conditions, support them in a way that um, in the next coming Olympics, they'll be able to play well, they'll be able to get um, their coaches in time. You've seen the lady complain that she did not have her assistant, she did not have her coach for two weeks, and um, she was to represent her country in the top, top level, the Olympics, you know. I just hope that um, Jamaica will regain their legacy in short races and that um, they shall take over where they left. This year has just not been their year because we've seen injuries from top, top athletes just like Sherika Jackson, who just missed in the 200 meter semi-final at the Paris Olympic, you know, it hasn't been there here. So guys, um, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Kindly do consider subscribing to this channel for amazing, amazing black stories in Africa and in the diaspora. And I'd also um, thank you guys if you'd comment in this video down below and also if you join to be a member of this channel. And lastly, if you like and also support me through super thanks down below on the right hand side, just right below here. So guys, thank you so, so much. See you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.